So in this lesson, we're going to look at saving and loading selections. And it's very simple. We just have to have a selection. And you can see I have a fairly complex one right here. If we go up to the Select menu and we choose Save Selection. So we're going to get the option to save to. And we'll come back to what this means. But right now, since there's no saved selections, we're just going to save it to New. We can give it a name if we'd like to. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, so now let's say I just want to deselect that by hitting Control-D. And now if I wanted to get back to that selection at any time, I could go to Select, Load Selection, and you'll see that we have Alpha 1. That is the selection that we've just saved, and that's the default name that it comes with. If we don't assign it a name, it'll be Alpha 1 or Alpha 2 or Alpha 3, so on and so forth. However, if we give it a name, the name will appear in this drop-down list. Now, we have some options below. We have replace selection. We have add to selection, subtract from selection, and intersect with selection. We'll come back to these for right now, but right now we'll just choose the replace selection. So boom, there's our selection. Now let's say for whatever reason, let's go ahead and hit control D, that we want to make another set of selections. So I'll just go ahead and start making some selections and you know, I'll just go ahead and get a circle and then maybe I'll go and get something like a freehand, so I'll just freehand cut out of that circle, like so. And let's say that this is a selection now that I want to save. So I, again, I go up to Selection, Save Selection. Now, again, I have the option of saving to New, but I can also save it to Alpha 1. And if I choose to save it to Alpha 1, now I get those same options again. Replace Mask, Add to Mask, Subtract from Mask, and Intersect with Mask. So I'm just going to hit Cancel real quick, and I'm going to show you what that is. So let's just come over here to our channels and you can see that we have a channel right here which is alpha 1. And if I turn the visibility of that channel on, you can see that even though our preview is showing black and white, what we're going to be getting is this red and white. And wherever it's solid red like this is going to be where it's masked and wherever it's white is going to be where it's not masked. So the options that it's giving us when we come over here and we choose select save selection and if we choose alpha one, is basically to say, okay, do we want to replace these white areas by making this within the selection a new white area? Or do we want to add to the previously white areas by making what's inside this selection white as well? Or do we want to subtract by making these parts here red and making everything else stay the way that it is? Or do we want to intersect? So these will give you different results depending upon what it is that you're going to be doing. And we're going to cover this more in the next lesson, but I just wanted to point out to you what exactly that was. Now, let me go ahead and hit Cancel. And the first thing that I do want to talk about here before we get too much further is this whole red thing. Why are we seeing red? What is that all about? Well, in the channels here, basically the idea is, is that black is the selected. And if we turn off the visibility for RGB, which is our main normal background channel, and we just come over here to Alpha 1 and we have that selected, you'll see it's black and white. And like I said, black is not selected or masked, depending upon your point of view. And white is selected or unmasked. So the bottom line here is that even though we're working with black and white within our alpha, and this is how we would want to work within our, our alpha, which is known as an alpha channel, when we turn on RGB, what we see instead is this red. Now, where did this red come from and what is this all about? Well, Back in the old days, when people used to do this type of work, they would use what's known as rubylith. And rubylith was this sort of thin, transparent red film that you could lay over the top of things and cut with a razor blade and then remove the parts that you wanted to reveal and use the red to hide the parts that you didn't want to see. And that was very useful for setting up things like silhouettes and whatnot. Now, when the computer functionality of channels was first introduced, a lot of people thought of it like rubylith. So they built in this rubylith-like functionality into Painter. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at how we can utilize these channels to work with our various different types of selections and even customize the way that we view these channels when we're working.